Well, the first time I held Dylan, uh, he was the size of both of my hands, and I have big hands. And um, I, I just think it's amazing uh, when when babies come into the world, and and the first time when you look into their eyes. Uh, the first one was our son Jude, and it was like electricity. You know, picking him up, and you know, my wife had been holding them for ten months, and uh, you know, for me, it was the first time I got to hold them ever, and it was pretty exciting. I got, was able to cut the cord and I held her. It's a little scary because now you're responsible for a human being, but at the same time, this is your flesh and blood and you just instantly fall in love with him. I realized that it was in fact the first time I had ever held any baby in my entire life. And it was a really powerful moment. My favorite thing to do with Dylan is baby wearing. I love the bond with my son. I love the fact that I can put him on my chest and, and hey, we can go and do anything. The first few times I did it, I was absolutely in love. Yeah, you can still get things done. You can, you know, have a coffee. You can, you know, build something. You can, you know, help your other kids. Uh, free hands and just the intimacy of holding them close. It also works great for any kid who doesn't have a, like easy nap cycle because it's, you know, the best way to get him to fall asleep. You know, especially if they're having a fit to calm them down, it's an easy thing to do when you go out to the store. You don't have to pull out a stroller. To be able to just uh, have him here and I have the others in my pocket when we walk and in a parking lot I can watch out for cars and still handle the other two. I like to be able to go out with both of my little girls. I don't have to worry about anybody running around in the street and still be able to get the stuff I need to get done done. My wife really enjoys that I'm helping out in that way and not just here, you know, hand baby when um, things are getting rough. So if there's any piece of advice I could give to a new dad, it would be the sleep when the baby sleeps. You know, when your kids sleep, it is an opportunity you can take a nap. I know that uh, it, for me in general, I want to be industrious in that time and I try to do things, but the other thing is you're not going to get back the moments that you have. I would tell expectant dads or new dads, um, good luck. Um, and, uh, you know, in my experience that you can get all the advice in the world, but you know, when it comes down to it, you're going to have to learn it yourself. And you just have to take your time and just um, kind of be flexible and, and relax and it's going to be okay. You know, I got to make sure that I'm baby wearing, that's all. So in case of a zombie apocalypse, this is something I've, I've highly considered. I, I always thought that it would be great if there were a tactical wrap something that had at least one, if not two layers of uh, dragon armor or um, a kydex or something similar that would be deterrent of either slash, slice, bite, you know, munitions of different types. And that way the baby's protected. Uh, but I think in the case of zombie apocalypse, it'd probably be most ideal to wear them posteriorly as opposed to anteriorly. Yeah. So then I take the, the bullet and they don't. Well, if I have time to grab a carrier, that'd be great. Otherwise, it's hold the baby and run and see how far you can get. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs>